Striker, what is that in your hand? Uh, nothing. <laughs> it's time for a dipstick to uh, cut some toilet paper. His official entry. Okay, so if I'm a couple minutes after noon, it's not a big deal. I bet he's gonna get zero. We'll see. Okay. He's gonna beat you. He's better. <laughs> Aviation, the way it was meant to be. All right, we're here with Dipstick, and we're about to cut some TP. How are you feeling, Danny? Oh, Dipstick. We're going to cut some TP. All right, go ahead and fly. All right, we're off. RPMs are good. Oil pressure's in the green. Airspeed is alive. Woohoo! Got full tanks of gas, and... 55 and rotate. All right, we're going to climb to uh, 5,800 feet. How are you feeling, uh, Dipstick? I feel good. All right. So right now we're climbing through, oh, heading into 4,000 feet. I'm going to take off leg, staying up the pattern, living from county. I'll pause the traffic, Bonanza Fort with me on a four mile flight. Ready to try it. You feel you're ready. Huh. I'm a master with toilet paper. <laughs> All right. We're going to be approaching the drop zone in just a minute. Good. Well, your airspeed 
good. Your altitude, your hard deck is coming up in 200 feet. So let's keep a lookout for it. See if you can see it. I do not see it. All right, keep your turn going. You really wanted to turn 270 degrees. Well, if I was heading west, uh, you, you should have gone north. Should have I'm, I'm north. below my deck. All right, that's your hard deck. Let's go up and fly north again to uh, 5,500 feet. Well, you got a good look at it. You got to sight it. You got a good feel of what it's like. And uh, we'll go again. How do you feel, Dipstick? Oh, you got all your rocks, too. All right, everyone gets two rolls. The beautiful fall day. Oh yeah. There's the toilet paper we missed. It's gonna hit it's exactly on close. target, right where our group is to clean it up. I've done three, but not in competition. Scooter's done four and three in his official entry. I only did four in my official entry. So you did great. Oh, 1,500 feet or so to get to our altitude, and then we'll do our second drop over the drop zone. But I'm counting to four. Should I already be at idle? Yeah, we, no, just uh, fly the plane right now. You're fine. You ready? Yep. And... One. Done. Three. Four. Go ahead and make your turn. All right. About 750 to 1,000 feet per minute. You got to be a little bit more than you were last time. Okay, that's your 90 degrees. That is nice and going. That's Dropping your, at 700. That's your uh, 180 degrees. I got it right there in sight. Turn left and descend a little bit more. Okay, got it. All right, you have it in sight. Okay, you're doing great. You're doing great. Go ahead and nail it. I don't understand why I'm dropping over a thousand feet. Just don't worry, the toilet paper's dropping too, but you're in a good heading right now. So level out and keep this. You're going to do it. Fly right towards the middle of the toilet paper. Turn right. Turn right, it's going to come quick. Oh, you just want to hit me. Whoa! Oh, you got it. You got a hit. All right, one, two. Three, see that same heading. Why? Turn left. Four. All right, now start your turn. Okay, that's 90 degrees. Dropping good, my airspeed's good. All right. Going through 180 degrees. You still are above your hard deck. We should see it coming off to our right right now. I have it to the right. Do a sharp right turn. You're fine there. I got that in sight. You got it. I gotta go past. No, no, no. Just head your nose right towards it. There you go. There you go. All right. Level out. Keep your descent. Fly right in the middle of it. Left more. Left more. Left more. Ooh, you got it. You got it. Yeah, perfect cut! One, two, three, four. Left turn or right turn is fine too. All right. That's 90 degrees. That's uh, 180 degrees. You're, you're diving big time. You're diving big time. All right, 180. And we should have it off to our right again. Got it right here to the right. 270. You got it? Got you didn't it. you didn't fly far long enough, but let's see if we can get it. Alright, straighten out. You are still above your hard deck. You're still above your hard deck. It's below me. It's below you and you're at your hard deck, so that means we missed it. You got 1.2. I don't know if you got the first one. Alright, so I don't know if I got the second one. No, you definitely got the you definitely got the second one was a confirmed hit. First oh, one I'm not climbing. certain about. Got a biker below me. Charlotte traffic, Cessna two four one Air Lima, entering uh, three mile downwind, left turn runway three.
Oh, nice run. You definitely got one confirmed, and I might even give you two in two rolls. Let's call it two. Any final thoughts? Glad I'm down. <laughs> it was That's fun. fun. Fun for the first time. Yeah, all right. All right, dipstick, so you tried it? So I tried it. It's actually yeah. my Here's a question for you. Did you see it the second time? Oh, I saw it, but then it... I it, called it, him it, up the whole time. <laughs> Listen, Goose. Uh, the paper... Remember it, what happens to Goose. It, right. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one that the golden egg. Um, <laughs> the toilet paper flies by. Like, I was expecting to just kind of sit there and I drive, fly into it. It goes, flew by. It goes by. Right? Yeah, well, it, you go, you're doing a... What, 100 yeah, 110 and... and it, it's yeah, there. and so. it's, it's staying still, right? So, uh, so did you find it difficult to maneuver for the toilet paper? Or did you find it kind of simple? I think it was a lot easier than I anticipated. I, th I think I overthought it. You know, I just needed to, to wait before I started my turn. And then when I was 180, 200, start looking for it. And then aim for it. I'm kind of thinking it's floating and I, I got to aim where I think it's going to be and right. you don't need you to do that. It, it's right it's floating in the air with you, yeah. right? I mean, you're both free flowing across through the air. Yeah. So yeah, you just line up on it. So it's a lot simpler than most people think. The other question I have, did you find yourself at any point thinking this was dangerous? This was, uh, did you find yourself out of control? Did you find yourself while you were flying, finding anything beside enjoyable? No, I mean, 